This is question 20 from the GCSE Edexcel Higher Paper 2, sat on the 8th of June 2017. And the question says, the diagram shows part of the graph of y equals x squared minus 2x plus 3. So here's the parabola of that graph. And part A says, by drawing a suitable straight line, use your graph to find estimates for the solutions of x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals 0. So they've given us the graph of x squared minus 2x plus 3, and they want us to find the solutions of x squared minus 3x minus 1. The idea of this question is that by combining this equation with the equation of a straight line, we can make it equal to this equation. Firstly, let's compare these two equations. So I've got this equation down here, x squared minus 3x minus 1. And I've also got this equation up here, x squared minus 2x plus 3. And what I want to do is to find the difference between these two equations. So I can say that this first equation plus the difference equals this second equation. So one way to find the difference between these two equations is to subtract them. So if I subtract these two equations, x squared minus x squared, that would be 0, minus 3x minus minus 2x, well that's going to be minus 3x plus 2x, that equals minus x. So minus 3x minus minus 2x is minus x. Then I've got minus 1 minus 3. Minus 1 minus 3, that's going to be minus 4. So what I've done here is to subtract the first equation from the second equation. I found the difference between them. And if I take this first equation in red and subtract that difference, I'll get the second equation. So let me write that out. So if I take the first equation, x squared minus 2x plus 3, and then I subtract the difference, I will get the second equation, x squared minus 3x minus 1. So I've taken that first equation, I've, I've subtracted x, I've subtracted 4, and I end up with x squared minus 3x minus 1, which is this second equation here. Now what the question is asking for is solutions when x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals 0. In other words, all of this on the right hand side here, that's equal to 0 in our problem. So I can say that all of this on the left hand side, this x squared minus 2x plus 3 minus x minus 4 equals 0. So now what that allows us to do is to take this difference, this minus x minus 4, and add that to the other side. So I can say that, so therefore x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals x plus 4. Okay, so when x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals 0, x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals x plus 4. Now this is the equation of this curve up here, and x plus 4 is the equation of a straight line. So what this equation is saying is that when all of this equals 0, this curve here in red will equal this straight line in blue. When that equal is when that straight line cuts this curve. So we can draw this straight line on this graph and when it cuts the curve, that will be the solutions of this problem here. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph this straight line. And it's really good practice in GCSEs to be able to draw a straight line quickly given the equation of a straight line. So the gradient is the number before x and this plus four is the y-intercept. So I can start at that y-intercept of four so this is my y-intercept, and my gradient is 1, so I can draw some points using that gradient. So if I have a gradient of 1, I go up and across 1, and I get to my next point, and up and across 1, and I can draw a number of points for this straight line. 
And once I've got the points in, you can take your ruler and draw a straight line through those points. And then you've graphed the straight line of x plus 4. So this is y equals x plus 4. So it's really important to be able to quickly graph a straight line if you're just given the equation of that line. Now this equation equals 0 when the curve equals the straight line. In other words, when the straight line cuts the curve. So we need to find the points where the straight line cuts the curve. So that's going to be, if we zoom in a little bit, that's going to be about here and about here. And now we need the x coordinates of where that straight line cuts the curve. So if we look at this scale carefully, it's going up in point 2. So 3, so this is 3 on the x-axis. And this point here is between 3.2 and 3.4. So that's probably about 3.3 .3 on the x-axis. And this point here is between minus 0.2 and minus 0.4. So this is going to be about minus 0.3 on the x-axis. Okay, so now I have my solutions to this problem. It's minus 0.3 and 3.3. .3. So x equals minus 0.3 and 3.3. .3. The second part of this question says P is the point on the graph of y equals x squared minus 2x plus 3 where x equals 2. And part B says calculate an estimate for the gradient of the graph at the point P. So let's firstly find point P on the graph, that's where x equals 2. So if we go up to the graph, here's x equals 2 and on the graph that point will be here, so we can call that P. And we need to find the estimate for the gradient of the graph at that point. Now one way to estimate the gradient of a curve is to draw a tangent to the curve at that point and then find the gradient of the tangent. So we need to draw a straight line at P just touching the curve. And this is where you just need to try to be as accurate as possible uh, with a ruler. So you can take your ruler and draw a straight line through P just touching the curve. And once we find the gradient of that straight line, we'll know the gradient at P. Now to find the gradient of that straight line, we can use the rise over the run. So if we, we look at this point, let's firstly find the coordinates of P. So we know the X coordinate is two. The Y coordinate here is three. So point P is two, three. And then we need to find another point on this straight line to find the rise and the run. So try to pick a point where you have whole numbers so you don't have to deal with decimals and fractions. And I'm going to pick this point here. So this point is at 3 on the x-axis and 5 on the y-axis. So now I have two points on this line and I can find the gradient. Remember the gradient of a line, the gradient of a line equals the rise over the run. So if I can find the rise from P to the second point, so if I go up from P here, up to 5 on the y-axis, my rise is 2, and then I need to go across to this point on the line. So I've gone across from 2 on the x-axis to 3 on the x-axis, so my run there is 1. So I can say my rise is 2 and my run is 1, therefore my gradient is 2. 2 over 1 is 2. So the estimate for the gradient at point P is 2. So there's three marks there, one for drawing the tangent at point P, one for showing a method to find the gradient, and then one for giving your answer. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you appreciated this. If you're after the rest of the questions in this paper, I have done those in separate videos, so check those out as well. Subscribe if you want to see more content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.